7 News live at 5. Coverage you can count on. Almost two weeks after a mass shooting at an Albuquerque park, there are still many questions about how it happened. Action 7 News has been pushing to get new information about a crime that killed a teen and hurt six others. But we are having a hard time getting answers from police. It all happened at the Los Altos Park on Lomas near Eubank. KOHE Action 7 News reporter Mike Springer is live tonight. Mike. Royal Police previously told us at least four people fired shots in that shooting. We still don't know who their names are, but we know they're still out there. Now, we tried to reach out to police today to get some answers to the many questions we have about this case. We even asked to sit down with the chief. That request was denied. Instead, all we got was this minute, 43-second long YouTube video from the chief asking the public for help. 17-year-old Jacques Lewis was shot and killed at Los Altos Park almost two weeks ago. And Action 7 News still has a lot of questions that need answers. All we know is that police say the fight broke out after two groups fought over a skateboard. At least four people opened fire. Seven were hit, including Lewis. His mother has been anxiously awaiting an update. I want to know when are they going to bring the killer to justice. We've been pressing police for details on many key questions in this case. Has APD identified the shooters? Exactly how many shots were fired? And did gang activity have anything to do with the shooting? Police tell us today that it was not gang related. But as for any update about potential suspects, APD says it has nothing new to tell us. We asked for a sit-down interview with Chief Gordon Eden to hear it from him and to have the opportunity to ask follow-up questions. Our request was denied. The department only provide the community and the media with a YouTube video in which the chief asked for the public's help with his case. Meanwhile, Lewis's family still doesn't know exactly what happened or who may have fired the bullet that killed the teen. The NAACP has reached out to the family and is offering its support. And Action 7 News will continue to push APD for answers to these questions. Reporting from downtown Albuquerque, Mike Springer, KOAT Action 7 News.